Scotty Sheffer with a what a start to his day. I think you two should coach this guy. Just get together with him and there you go. <laughs> Back at the par three six, Xander Shoffley with this to get it to three under par. Did you say birdie? We've been saying par all morning. <laughs> How is this possible? <laughs> go. Good oh, work. there you go. Wow. In a stretch where we haven't seen many of those, he's made two wow. in the last three holes. Up to the fourth, and McElroy coming off that long birdie. He wasn't happy with the tee shot. He was watching it anxiously. He's just in the semi, which, as we know, has got a lot of water. Watch the splash. It's all in a blur, Gov. Yeah, a great, bit. Great shot. Look at that. How about this start, too? Well, kind of got to go in, is it? That goes in and makes a forward round the next. McElroy saw the long birdie. This had four now to get it to five under. I bet it goes. I bet it goes. Oh, yeah. oh, I bet you're right. Listen to that roar, and here comes Rory. To six. And Rory trying to keep this momentum headed in the right direction. It's going to skitter this up the hill, kind of let this ball hydroplane off the dewy grass. Oh. Why touch? Wow, does that look good or what? It just spun right at the right time. To three. Straka now, this is for birdie. Two pars out of the gate. Only been three birdies here today. Good looking. Four birdies now. First hole in the third hole, two tough par fours. I made a mistake there. He bogeyed the first. That got him back to even. To five. This is an eagle attempt for Tom Kim, who's been uh, gutting this open out. Talked about it yesterday. How earlier in the championship, he injured his ankle. Kind of took a bad step off the back patio of his house rental here. And started off with a couple bogeys, but has made up for it. In that third to last group, Tommy Fleetwood back at the fifth for birdie. Just couldn't get anything going yesterday. No, not so much today either. Maybe oh, here. Yeah. Maybe here. We know he's got the support. His fans were waiting all day yesterday for Tommy to get something going. Just had a lid on it yesterday. This is Rory at the ninth, 223 yard par three. It's parted every day. Tough par three. Tom Tracer looking Rory. Posing like he likes it. And he should. Right below the hole. Shot of the day for Rory right there at nine. That is a real tester up the hill there. You know, players get lucky breaks, but on the other side of the coin, you have to take advantage of them. So this has to go down with Harmon in trouble behind. You can certainly give him a chance to cut into that lead. Not much break in this at all. Maybe a right center putt. Made them all yesterday, but uh, well now you know the rain is starting to really be a factor. Yeah, that's going to be an issue with a lot of players when the hat just gets overly saturated with water and it starts to drip off the bill of the cap and uh, drips right onto the ball if you, if you stand in your uh, setup long enough. So turn it around, rally cap here, guys. Uh, emerged from the six unders with a rally cap on to come back a little closer to Harmon. Just four back. This fifth hole proving to be the most pivotal hole early in this final round. And back to Straka at eight. Hole location just over that bunker. Really important to be in the fairway so you can stop the ball. It almost landed in the cup. And look at that. Is that putt now to get to seven under to tie Rom? This was earlier. Rally cap on for Tom Kim. Avoiding the rain drops off the bill. He's a four under. Started off with those two bogeys, but then went birdie eagle, and he went on to make another birdie there. So Tom Kim has brought it back big time over at the sixth. Young off the tee. And that's our top tracer. Oh. 
194, that was six iron. Another tremendous shot. Mm. A miss to the left, you pay a pretty big price and the ball will run away. Back over at the six, Harmon going through his pre-putting routine here. Yeah, this would be a huge two after bogey the last. You know, sometimes you start out with a, such a big lead in the last round and you don't really breathe a sigh of relief until you pick one up on the field. And he has not done that yet. He dropped a couple. If he can get this one to go, it just kind of settles you down and gets you into the round a little bit more. Yeah, putts are always harder to make on Sundays. There's just no two ways about it. showed us this week bounce back just when you think maybe things are slipping away a birdie after the two bogeys how impressive is this dan just took a punch in the gut and comes back with this one has not won in six years two pga tour victories and that'll give you more of an idea of the magnitude of this day for brian Harmon. <laughs> And putting this week has been the story for Cameron Young. It just hasn't been able to even come close to matching the ball striking. That's pretty much indicative of the way he plays. But if he can just get the putter heated up, Woody, I mean, this guy could run the table. No question about it. The way he strikes the ball is uh, it's absurd at times. Called him Paul Tesori. They took a long look at this, and this feels like a big putt all of a sudden. Brian Harmon topping him before he even gets a chance to roll it uphill moving to his right. So two bodies. How impressive is that for Young and Harmon after the bogeys at five to nine. And Straka has had a couple near misses on the last two holes. He's had great looks. Another good one here at nine and he takes advantage. Uh, he's running pretty confident, isn't he? After a, a win last week. Incredible. So Straka pulls up in there that tie for second, just like Rom four back. That's the 19th birdie of the week at the seventh for birdie. Another great look, like you said, Kurt. This is probably within a few feet of where he was aiming from back there. Big confidence builder on the last hole that he made. And he hit it. He did. Brian Harmon tacks on another one to 12 under and up by five. Jason Day way off short left at the long ninth. Oh. Oh. He's got some short game and Jason Day just turned it into a two. Wow. The magical Jason Day. He has just got some tremendous touch. Great imagination. He's all the way back, I think, Dan. You know, he had a little bit of a slump there for a while. He had a lot going on off the course, a few injuries here and there. Yeah, it was a long drought. Yep. A recent win. No, no. Hadn't won in more than five years. He won the PGA Championship as lone major eight years ago. He also holed out from off the green yesterday at the ninth. Right there, meantime, McElroy, 14, second shot. Cars in a row, no big finish for Rory just yet on the back nine. There's a chance, there's a look, and remember, two par fives at six, 15 and 18. So McElroy, way back, seven back. And so here is Harmon with a lead back up to six on the tee at the ninth. 227, no wind at all. This is 400 for Harmon. Gonna have to get all of it to get it all the way to the pin, but as long as he gets it to the green, that's all his only concern right now. Yeah, you really, I put a circle on my book. There's a flat spot short of the ridge. He's the holes cut on. That's where he really wants to end up. Just about five yards on the green. It's the left side of the green. It's easy. Yep. He wants to be right there. He's short of the ridge. That is a beautiful shot. In full control at the moment, Harmon. Yep. This is Straka at the 11th for birdie. It's just spill it up coming home. That's a start. Coming off his uh, second bogey at 10. He's back to seven under. And right now it is strong. You got two bulldogs at the top. Over to 15. Rory's third. In the 
the gnarly stuff down there. It's a real talent to judge that one. Oh, boy. Good look at Bernie for McElroy to try to get into that tie for second. Five back. This is Rom who whipped it way left at 11, Nota. Yeah, on the left side of this fairway, not the best of lies, but the angle is okay. 152 back to the hole, just over 120 to the front. So plenty of room. If he's able to just gouge this out and get it somewhere on the front part of the green, it might run out up by the pin. Needs to make something happen at this point. That might not stay on. Oh, gets a break from the uh, sprinkler head there. Huge break. <laughs> that was heading down the slope. Yep. Well, Rob be. had the break at the uh, par five when he stayed out of the course. Got another break there. Oozing confidence. 15, Matthew Jordan, the local Hoy Lake member here at Royal Liverpool. Yeah. Pumping it in there. What a dream week it's been for him. He says he called it the dream week of his life after his third round yesterday when he came home with a flurry of birdies, and he's trying to do the same thing today. It is a heavy rain now. It's interesting. Woody just said it's not raining where he is, and it's pouring down rain here in our tower. Tom Kim's third at the par 5, 15th. He's trying to keep it rolling. Good chance to get it to seven under. That would be a tie for second. Tom Kim for another birdie. This will be the fourth of the day to go along with the eagle he made at five. Yeah! And again with that bad wheel, the ankle which he injured. You know, he's so young. A finish like this, you're going to look at scoreboards back in the day and go, oh, this Kim guy's been getting in contention here for a while now. To 17. McElroy's putt here from birdie from just over 15 feet to get back to six under after that very rude horseshoe lip out on the last. Yeah. Birdie for McElroy here at 17. Finally birdies a par three on his last chance as he walks to the final hole. He's got to feel a lot better about the way he's rolled it today and played fantastically. Now John Rum. Got to watch Hovland. I think there's some advantage to hitting second on the par threes in lousy conditions. Oh. Oh. Look at those two. I wonder who gets close to the pin. And back to 13. Rom lining up this putt, Noda. Well, facts, I tell you what, there's a lot of things going on out of here, but. Uh... John Rom will never give in. He's going to keep grinding. He's going to keep battling it out. Rain has got a little bit heavier in the last five minutes. Just a beautiful shot here. This is a must make. You got to find some way to cut into that lead with the two par fives remaining. And you just never know what can happen out here. He thought after that fifth hole when he got that unreal break not going in the gorse bush and he made birdie that something might happen and he's just dropped the shot on nine in all pars since. Yeah, he certainly had his chances. Great iron play to start out in that opening nine, but you just got to give all the credit to Harmon. He's really maintained that lead and made the big shots when he's had to. Yeah, you can see the water just dripping off his head. He's shaking his head like, what can I do about this? Is to get in that tie for second. Yeah. He took all his concentration just to make that four feet. Only two birdies today. Here's McElroy's third at the last. That's from 199 yards. That is way back on this par five. Oh. <laughs> Terrific shot. Chance for Rory to finish birdie birdie. And give the fans a thrill here. We had hopes that he would. 16. Sepp Straka running tied for second right now. If he can get it to that top tier and keep it there. And he can. What a shot by Straka. That was a five iron from back there in the fairway. So he's got a great chance to get within three. And this is Matthew Jordan. This is going to be some walk home. 
for this Hoylake member. We're gonna love that. 27-year-old hit the very first tee shot of the 151st Open at his home club on Thursday. This is Harmon over at 14. Boy, has he performed this week. He left it in a pretty good spot here, just trying to giggle it down there for two putts and get out. Yep, down the hill, moving to his right. Zinger, he and Scott Toy's game plan has been flawless today. The execution oh, almost as good. Oh, wow! Harmon with another one at the 14th. Sometimes when you just want to lag it up there, the hole gets in the way. I just texted with his wife, Kelly, who's not one of those, uh, she's not one of those wives that watches every single shot that he makes. She's at, in Syracuse, New York area, with her family there, there are three kids. She said she just got back from a four mile walk. I said, have you been peeking in the coverage? She says, yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> Beautiful putts that won't go in. Now, Sepp Straka to get to solo second. And does. Uh, Watch it. Sepp's missed a few good opportunities here on Sunday as well. This could have been a really special round for him. Eagle, we haven't seen one Eagle there today, by the way. But you can see some big numbers there in a hurry as well. Here is Jordan finishing it. What a week. So many members witnessed his entire week walk at every single shot with him. His girlfriend works at European Tour Productions, Kate Harry. She's a pretty good player in her own right. So she's been kind of peeking through the coverage there and then trying to get as much in person as she can. And 17. Straka, who's in eight, eight under par. First to play here. 17. This is the top tracer. Good looking shot. I should spin back. Good play. Sepp Straka. In Southport. And right on that walkway, Woody, is Harmon. He is just off the fairway, or we would have been able to take relief, but it's a perfect lie. All matted down, 130 yards total. Zier, you touched on it earlier in the day, and, and uh, he and Scott Toy, his caddy, have been in an absolute bubble all day long. I haven't seen him talk to anybody else other than the two of each, to each other. Yep, for them, it was a two man game today. It's, it's those two against the world. Was wedged for Harmon. Very aggressive line here. Good looking shot. Oh, yes. That won't jerk backwards like a lot of these balls. The greens are soft, and we're not seeing a lot of huge backspin. What a shot. Oh, that's got to be a great feeling for Brian Harmon. It's not over yet. He still has to get past 17, of course, and 18 with all the out of bounds. And that's what he said got him into a little trouble when he had the lead at Aaron Hills in the U.S. Open those years ago. Over to 15. And here we go with Harmon, Woody. Again, great look here. I don't see much in this. It looks like it, as it wants to fall left a little bit as if it loses a little speed, but another fantastic look. And just that same rhythm all day long. Hasn't rushed a thing. You know, we said at the start of the week how important it was to keep it out of the bunkers. He's only been in one in this championship, Dan, and that's the fewest. And also the value of putting here. You have to take your putter to the weekend. He leads the field in putting. Pours in another one. And that's back to back now and 13 under. Jacks the lead back up to five over Straka. He's now been working with Justin Parsons, but that has been an incredible relationship. Rom now for birdie up ahead. Okay, finally, we roll one in, he says. And that puts him into a tie for second at seven under. And now back to Harmon. Do it, Dan. Like in the first bit of emotion. 
You know, Tiger picked this place apart like a surgeon, didn't he? And Brian Hartman did the same thing, even though Tiger did it with irons from the tee because it was so dried and baked out in 06. Brian Harmon did it with different clubs to the same spots. Yeah. Finally. Yeah, Young could have used a lot more of those. He had opportunities. He just wasn't able to put it all together. But that's such an incredible tee to green game. I would have to say that Brian Harmon and Scott Tway probably is American as it gets. Those two guys are hot dog eating, you know, apple pie. That's them. And Harmon makes his history at Hoylake. the 15th American to win this championship in the last 20 years. And another lefty has a major fifth different left-handed player to win the big one. The first one coming in the open in this championship 60 years ago this month, Bob Charles.